Omar, get out of his fucking bowl. Go. Eat your breakfast. Adam, eat. Eat your breakfast. Now. You're not getting anything else. Abner, eat your breakfast. You're gonna be hungry all day. Yeah, eat it. That's you, yeah. Eat it. You're such a jerk, Abner. Morning's a little crunched. Cause I am behind. Gotta finish up some stuff for Scruff because we're like literally wrapping up the lookbook right now. I'm sitting here like, Ern, what the fuck? Where are you? What, what oh, are you doing? I was outside smoking there. It's this little joint I oh, have, but cool. <laughs> I thought you were still downstairs. I'm like, oh, he's downstairs. I'm gonna just leave him. And you said, what are you doing? I said, working on this. I didn't hear you. So the plan is for us to go up today. Oh my God. Earn. Yes. Yeah. How do you not know this? No, I know. I'm just saying we're not I'm just making sure we're still if you're changing it. Why do you think I'm doing all this right now? No, I know. Every time I pick something, you're like, there's a lot of colors, Teddy. You do Where's Alex sleeping? Yeah. Should I go down there and do an interview? <laughs> Good morning. What are you trying to pick right now? Colors to go with a particular shirt? All the shirts. So what one are you looking at? That's the design? Yeah. And that's the colors? Oh, Ernie. Oh, the skull one that I loved. Mm -hmm. Now that's the colors. The blue and black like that, or that can change Shh. too. There's three different colors for this. <laughs> Be normal. This is what Brandy tells me. It holds as a kid. Just be normal. If the two people who are closest to you keep telling you the same thing. Oh, Alex is going to be psyched. This thing's pretty much weed. I know nothing about colors. You got the wrong guy next to you. But even still, this stuff won't have a black outline yeah. on the shirt, and it might look weird with it just being floaty like that. This is a lot harder than you. It's not easy. Yeah, people act like you just like, oh, we'll do a clothing line. You're like sitting here and thinking about how everything's laid out, how everything is going to fit, and the color schemes, and what color people are wearing, and what color is available. Ooh. You see it like this, and you're like, ooh. But what shirt, what, what day are you going to pick up this lime green shirt and put on a fucking lime green and yellow? I know. Where are you at, Miami oh, Beach? Oh, oh, Omar! Honestly, the other color is going to look good too on that. God damn it, this fucking I am really, like, almost grandpa illiterate at the fucking iPad right now. I'm fucking slow. So, oh, here's, this is the email. Did you figure out the, did you figure out the thing last night? Did you even try to figure out the clues? No, so I, I watch the clues and I see it pop up and I'm like, I'm not even trying, dude. It's so complicated. I, I have a few things in the inbox I want to show you that I don't know if they're right or I don't even know. The, the email's right here. There's definitely some people that have better in here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, put out a final tweet or something. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, social media manager. I appreciate it. I love it, dog. Yeah. I told you. What size is this hoodie, by the way? Yeah, the two are... Oh, this might be a three. Okay. Because wow. there was a tiny rip in the sleeve on one of them, either on the yeah, other sleeve. Yeah, but you wore that one. The one you brought it back to me? Yeah, so I just wore ashed. it for a picture. Oh, yeah, you asked on it and you brought it back to me? Is that for me? I don't me. know. I don't know. But there's a tiny hole, so I was like, rather than waste one, we barely have any white ones, I'll just give you one. You'll just give me one? <laughs> I mean, I'll give you that one, is what I'm uh, saying. Okay. Cool, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, how many designs are we doing all together in this one? We're, we're doing this. I don't know. We just have to. Oh, we're just kind of starting to put it together and then. Oh, but that's what's up. Kodak has turned down over $400,000 in appearances. People trying to get him to do big college shows because he's working on this album because it's going to be. Fire. Uh, let's see, Kodak Black has been tweeted about zero times the day that doesn't have the word jail in it. No. Yeah, let's see what the most latest tweet about Kodak Black is. Yeah, we got no news, buddy. Yeah, because he's keeping it quiet. Where did you hear this stupid news? I'm not telling you because you hate him. What? Complex. <laughs> it just came up with that Kodak, I had to click it, dog. Reportedly turned down performance checks yeah. to make new music. You know how much money I fucking turn down every day to make a vlog? 
Okay, who cares? Same. Oh, well, you can't do a show because you have to put a new body of workout. You're acting like he's like some noble creature who's like, no, no, no. I don't need <laughs> no, that's not what I'm I saying. Don't... I'm saying I'm psyched that there's new music coming. That's what that's I'm not... saying. Great. We're also psyched there for could the be... new fucking Kodak. It could be the greatest hip hop album of the year. It could be. It also could be a turd. You gotta fucking roll closer to the turd line on this one, buddy. I don't, I don't know, know why you think he's so prolific. It's just, it's, it's just, hard, just hard, finally. It's just time. It's time for the butter and the purple. And the chains. The snake head, too. What snake head? I mean, the dragon head. I always say snake. The dragon head. I mean, the dragon head. I always say snake. The dragon head. That's fine. What was it? Was that cool with you? Yeah, but no, I'm just yeah, telling you, I think. Oh, you're telling me. I see. <laughs> I'm saying this is, there's a lot of shit. I put in work is what you're saying. I know, but look, this is going to allow us if we wise, Great. time wise, Great. everything. And Great. just keep the shit going. And then you can draw and stay ahead. Great. So let's do it. All right. So what are we doing now? I'm still going to pick the colors. The chains are we going to do in 3M? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Finger hurts so bad. Oh, Alex broke her finger last night. Yeah. Which one is it? Oh, yeah. Which one is it? I don't know. Can you oh. tell? Yeah. Looks like it might be broken. Well, here, take that. Oh, thanks, bro. Look, it's almost to the top. Good. Packed nice. with shape. Whew. Were you stressed out? No, I just, no. I'm like, yeah, I'm in that stuck place where, like, we're doing stuff, but it's like, all right, now, now what, now what, now what? Now what, now what, now what, Teddy? Oh, that's fire, literally. <laughs> Oh, Ernest. Go roll joint. My favorite one still is the Atlantic Phoenix fire. I'm just going to redrop it without the Atlanta. Oh, maybe. Drop two is done. Yeah. All right, Scruff has the drop. Ugh. There's emails. People have solved the code. Please. Now, is it by the first one that came in is the winner? First two, the 500 and the 200. That's what I mean. So, yeah, the answer, I mean, the game changed. It went on a lot of turns, twists and turns. It spelled out break the code. Z equals 1, which means that A equals 26, an alphabet cipher. So then you take break the code. So that kid who did email the other email. Oh, can I finish? You have break the code, turn that into the numbers, which is... The number code is 24, 9, 22, 26, 16, 7, 19, 22, 24, 12, 23, 22. That is the code, number code. And then I said last night in the vlog, it said that every number is a word. And then I said to get rid of anything with 22. So that only leaves 9, 16, 7, 19, 12. If it's a word, that means it's typed out. It's no longer a number. It's still a number, but it's also a word. So the email address is 9, 16, 7, 19, 12 at gmail.com. And so these are the people who figured it out. Here we go. You want to point it at the fucking screen? Or? I did. I, Cause I, I want to go back and now look. Number one winner, Chofus TV. Chofus um, TV. You left the first comment. He won 500 bucks. We're gonna let him know right now. Chofus TV, got, uh, you the winner, dog. Second winner, Cody Pierce. Hey, King Rat. He says 500 bucks. Too bad you only get the two, yeah, son. Yeah. Nice. That's great. Let's just see how painful this is for everybody else. We just it. missed Max Smith. So close. Max Smith. Oh, wait, there's a few in there. Third no? Place. Oh, I see. The yeah. range. Oh, it's you. Red Panda, the hero. Andrew Sasanto. Sus Caitlin <laughs> Tajadi. BJ Scram. Yeah. Yep. DJ, Jorge Luna, Uventino, Cortez, Joey in all cap. Damn. <laughs> Since Hope I was first, you were 12. You were 12, and but Jorge yeah. Luna. It's pretty impressive. 13 people. It's a pretty confusing little cipher. Shout out to all of you. For those who didn't win, you know what? You're still getting something special. I live stream every morning <laughs> on Instagram. It's at Dirty. Yeah, and if you have Fortnite downloaded, I'll play with you. Gamer tag up here. Yeah, I gotta get 8 million drops ready. I'll see you later. This is how you're supposed to do it. You can loop this thing through the other hole what? to like... What? I this one. It might not work so well for you. Here though? Yeah, that thing's the truth. You can squeeze this and like... You can use it on your lower back too. No. No. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Dude. 20 bucks, man. Really? Well spent. Yeah, right? Dude, I can like get all the knots out. It's like right there, I can like feel it. Mm -hmm. Dude, this thing's sick. We need a couple. I ordered that thing yesterday. Oh, I just got here. Yeah, that's what came in this morning. Accu massage. Oh, we have all those toys that to open. We could do that today. Where are they? Ah, oh, they're in the suitcase. Still. Yeah, that thing's cool, huh? Yeah. I like that you can move the balls. You need to move them farther apart than I do for me. I have to have them on like the closest ones. Great invention. 
No, it's fantastic. I am extremely tired today. I don't know why. I don't know if I just didn't sleep that good or what. It also might be the drastic diet change of a whole bunch of sugar, a whole bunch of carbohydrate, bread, ice cream, and crazy shit. Like right back to salads. <laughs> I've had nothing but salad and steak since I've been home. Making a salad here in a second. Just made some cheese for my salad. We have dinner tonight with Alex's parents in Boulder. We're gonna go back to Black Belly because they've never been, so I'm gonna take them all to Black Belly. No more, let's just go out. And that's pretty much it. Like, that's really the day because, like I've said, I'm just waiting on all the stuff to come in so that we can finalize and get the friends and family email out. Everything is finalized for the drop Saturday. It's ready to ship. It's all, all here waiting. So there's just a lot of, like, not really you know, I don't really know how to vlog that so much anymore. More than I already have. I got a couple of little things I'm gonna do. You know, I got this little pink board here I wanna do a little painting on. Got a lot of stuff I wanna do. Alex is tearing the house apart. She went to go get a car real quick. Not buy a car, but like rent a car. She also had to argue with the rental car guy yesterday. I had to defuse that situation. She feels like she was treated differently because she was a woman, which probably so. And then yeah, and then like this week, I'm really trying to look for a studio space. Private studio for tattooing. Just seems like a good idea. The shop, Think Tank, still all my family, my brothers, but I, it's busy over there. So um, I need my own space, a place where I can represent my own idea of what tattooing is. <sighs> I just feel like that's what I need. So I'm looking for like a really low key, not even really on the main drag. You know, it can be like whatever. I kind of want it to be a little shady. So I'm going to probably name it the Shady Lady, my old tattoo shop. But I really just kind of want to find like a little private space where I can work, do tattoos, uh, paint some if I want to, not be in the house every day. Uh, you know, just kind of have like a home base. Also, a lot of people come to visit and I don't have a way to like meet up with them. I don't have a way to uh, have them meet me anywhere or anything that's not just weird. It also kind of gives me like a home spot where if people come to town, they know where to find me. I, it's not gonna be a tattoo shop. I'm not gonna take walk-ins or anything like that. It's basically gonna be email by appointment, only gonna really work on stuff that I think makes really good tattoos and uh, just kind of go from there, see what happens. That's kind of the plan in my head. I don't have really any uh, I don't have any really plan other than to have a plan. So I have to come up with my plan. That's what I want to do is just open like a really low key private studio because everything's just so crazy and I don't want everything in my house all the time. It's just going to be like, it's going to be nuts in here. That's the plan. That's the idea. I don't know what's going to happen. My Pharrell's, I hit the plug up when I said, yo, you got the track number for my Pharrell's? Oh, you didn't get them yet? Which is never a good sign. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. He hasn't texted me back. Supposedly, all three of the Solar Pharrells are on the way, as well as a kind of Geiss. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Ultra Boost, the cream-ish one. That's pretty much it. No multicolors for me. I didn't cop them. I just sold my pair that I barely wore, so I, there's no point in me copping. Yeah, there's really nothing that I've heard of announced coming that I'm really excited about. We talked about this yesterday. Like, there's a new NMD that has a, uh, they printed words on the NMD, which is not something that I'm a fan of at all in the way that they did it here at least. Someone said, oh man, Nike's definitely winning, which I have to remind you that just because Adidas drops the ball doesn't mean that Nike is winning. Sometimes the whole game is just boring. That's where sneakers are for me right now and the culture, it's all really just like kind of boring. Like nothing that's happening has that excitement that we had two years ago. So I'm not gonna pretend to give it excitement just because I wanna buy something. Uh, but when something comes along, obviously we'll cop it and talk about it. But right now it's just the normal stuff, Pharrell's and Yeezys and we're really not even getting a lot of Ultra Boost models that aren't my Adidas or have some sort of hoopla around it. There hasn't been a lot of models. I also heard that 5.0 was supposed to drop in August. I don't know, man. I don't know what the fuck's going on with all that. Anyway, just to keep you updated. I'm gonna try and get this vlog edited before dinner. That's my plan. So I'm gonna say goodbye now. I don't think a lot happened today. Some days, we're, we're still getting used to this new thing. We got Alex here, all kinds of things going on. She's buying Porsche furniture. You know, life is just, remember, we're on a spinning rock and one day you're gonna die. Hopefully it's not today. Love y'all. Peace. <laughs>